On the count of three, try not to blink. One, two, three. Again, one, two, three. Just relax for a second. Michael Wilson, photographer. Boys, start coming over. Where you were last year, boys, for a start. First year players, just to one side. This is my seventh season um, doing uh, team photos. It's usually a long day. You've got 40 plus guys trying to get their attention for you know an hour or so. Uh, you're that side. Well, you and Spitter are either side of that. There's a set list of shots that we have to get. Obviously the team photo number one, the official team photo that, that gets used everywhere. You boys just come out of touch. Just a touch more. Yep. We do player headshots of every player that is here. We also do a full length photo of each player on different angles, arms crossed, smiling, happy, just uh, to have on file for the year. Um, we do creative portraits as well, which get used on AFL.com, on all the club websites, in the club magazines, in the AFL record, and all of the AFL social media channels. Well, I might just get you running in from that angle, and just when you get to that spot, just throw a bit of candy out. Yeah. Good. You're probably looking up towards 800, 900 frames, which get edited down to your well, one team photo, probably 30 of the best portraits, and then all the headshots in full length. Yeah, good. Nice serious face straight down the barrel at me. Once we wrap up today, we'll, um, I'll download all the photos I've taken, which are going to be the creative portraits. So the process then would be to caption them, apply a template to them, fill out uh, the description of who who's in the shot and then I'll edit them in Photoshop. This one I reckon might look nice with a bit of a filter applied to it. Might even keep the light stand in there just for a point of difference. Shot this quite wide so I want to give it a little bit of space. Go into my filter gallery. So I reckon like a bit of a desaturated filter might sort of look good on this one. So maybe something like that. That's just a filter I've prepared myself just Started with the base and just knocked around with the saturation and contrast, but you can see the difference there. Really brings out detail in the in the grass, and I think the desaturation just sort of works for this sort of shot. So I might even just put a burnt edge on that. So I go to my burnt edge recipe here, and that's done. Ready to go. It's a long day, but yeah, we love it. Love footy, love photography, and like I said, when you when you get a great result, you know, a beautiful team photo, everyone smiling all symmetrical, you got all your heights right. It's a real buzz to see, see your work done properly and, and reproduced and people enjoying it, yeah.